humans of the cardboard welcome back to just nuts guys tonight today whenever you're watching this we are looking at the new neos cards the new elemental hero cards that uh just got revealed in the ocg this is still part of oh shoot oh my gosh i didn't even realize this i literally was expecting this to be part of the hidden collection because these were like main they were doing main character support in hidden collection i didn't even i saw that these got revealed i didn't even realize this was the very beginning of power of the elements damn okay so the last set we got well the the set that just came out we got um you know dark magician and blue eyes stuff now we've got elemental hero stuff very very cool eight new cards let's just jump into this thing we got a lot to get through here obviously there's already a ton of hero support so it's going to be hard to kind of put all the pieces together right now but i'm going to at least give my thoughts on where these cards are so far so starting off here we've got elemental hero spirit of neo so i guess kind of like the shadow version of dark magician what's it called it's like spirit of dark Mag magician spirit or whatever i remember when that card came out it's a level 7 light warrior of course 2500 attack 2000 defense of course and three hard once per turn effects seems good the first effect says when an opponent's monster declares unattack just any attack is declared by your opponent you can special summon this card from your hand in defense mode and if you do it cannot be destroyed by battle it's pretty good it's a good pretty good way to block your opponent in the battle phase um just means they're not really going to get into an otk position almost guaranteed at least in that turn as well as um just decent extension a little bit slow that you have to rely on your opponent's battle phase but not the worst thing in the world second effect if this card is special summoned you can add a spell or trap that mentions a hero monster's name or one polymerization from your deck to your hand okay that's a pretty decent pool i'm assuming right lists a hero monster's name but it does say hero monster so it does it have to be a specific hero monster's name i guess that's literally any card that lists in, uh lists neos uh which is probably a pretty decent pool so actually that's not terrible and the third effect during your main phase you can shuffle this card into the deck and if you do special summon one elemental hero normal monster from your deck interesting so if you need exactly neos on the field this guy can get you there very curious if if how easily the deck can spam this guy out without using that first effect because if you can summon special summon him he's getting you a surge then if you can uh then you could just swap him for an actual neos to make whatever other cards alive pretty decent seems decent to me could have had a better summoning condition but i'm not disappointed Next up here, we have Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman. <laughs> Design is dope. Name is dope. Combining Neos and Shining Flare Wingman. Always dope. Very cool. Level 8 Light Warrior Fusion. 3100 attack, 2500 defense. He requires specifically Neos and a Wingman Fusion Monster. Very interesting. Okay. Must be Fusion Summoned. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes on the field. Very interesting. So I think the most important thing to note here is that this guy, is a, this is a trigger effect on summon. So if we can quick effect uh, summon this guy on the opponent's turn, we would then be able to uh, kind of use this as a disruption to just wipe cards off the field. Uh, plus, like, if he counts as a light, and if your opponent just has any other attribute on field, that's at least two, and then obviously from there could get really out of hand. Really crazy. All right, gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Oh, wow, just every monster in your graveyard. So this card will probably, if you already fuse and summoned a wingman monster, this should probably be at least 1,200 more, so this should be 4,300 minimum, I would think and he can't be destroyed by effects dang this card <laughs> this card's a house and if this card destroys a monster by battle inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack gotta have that flame flame wingman effect in there of course uh pretty good i mean honestly gets really big can't be destroyed by card effects wipes the field when he hits the field the question is just going to be this as far as his materials go how easy is it really going to be to get this guy out or is it even possible to get him out as a quick effect we will see Moving on here, we've got Cross Keeper. I love this guy's design. He reminds me of Cross Porter. Very, very similar in design. Um, he is a level 2 Dark Warrior effect monster. 400, 400 for the stats. Two hard ones per turn effects. The first effect reads, you can send this card from your hand to the or, or field to the graveyard as cost. A special summon uh, one elemental hero or neospatian monster from hand or grave. But if, it, if you special summon it from the graveyard, its effects are negated. Okay, so it's either Monster Reborn or uh 
pulls them out of the hand. It's pretty good. Negates them when they come back from grave, but still, it's still an extender. And if you special summon an element's a hero fusion monster while this card's in the grave, you can banish this card to draw two, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Dang. That's pretty good. Holy shit. And you can use both of them in the same turn. That's pretty good. It's, a, it's just a decent extender that then lets you draw into your deck. Help, it's just a plus one, but like a targeted plus one like that. That's pretty good, man. This card seems pretty solid. Next up here, we're moving to the spells. We've got Engage Neo Space. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You cannot special summon for the extract the turn you do this, except for Fusion Monsters. Send one Neo Spatian Monster and Elemental Hero Monster to the graveyard. One from hand, one from deck. Okay, so you do have to have at least one of those in your hand. Special summon one Neo Spatian Monster or one level five or higher Elemental Hero Monster from your deck. If it is Elemental Hero Neos, it gains a thousand attack. And if you do, add one Polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So I'm already thinking that this card, I'm pretty sure, can just special summon our first guy straight out of the deck. That'll trigger his effect to then get a spell or trap that lists hero in the name. And then he can tag out for a Neos as well. Seems pretty good. Um, the only downside is that you are going to have to send a monster from hand as cost. But you also get to send a monster from deck as cost. So that's kind of just like a free foolish burial at least. So not the worst thing in the world. It also does force you to start playing Neo Spatians in your main deck. So we'll see. Uh, I don't think it seems like a horrible effect. I think the payoff is, is decent. But we'll have to see on the rest of the stuff there. All right, next up we have Instant Contact. This is a normal spell card. I love I love the artwork here specifically. You got all of those Neos Fusions in here. Um, you can only have this card once per turn. Pay a thousand life points as cost. Special summon a level seven or lower elemental hero or Neospatian monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. But if you do not have Neos on your field or in your graveyard, the summon monster can't attack, negated effects, and it's returned to the extract during the end phase. There's no restriction on this card. This card's kind of like a, an instant fusion-esque extender. Um, based on what Neospatian and E-Hero uh, fusions are available, depending on their type and attribute, like this could just be a generic extender for certain decks, like straight up. That's kind of interesting. Very, It's generic, there's no restriction there, like at all. You just get that body. Very, very interesting. I'd be curious to see what applications that might have. All right, next up here we have a continuous spell. This one is uh, EN Wave. You can only use both of its effects once per turn. If your elemental hero monster is used as material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can special summon a Neospatian or elemental hero Neos from the deck. Pretty cool, extra plus one. Uh, it doesn't help you get there, but if you already have a hand that gets there, this card is icing on the cake. Second effect, if a Neospatian uh, monster or monsters and or elemental hero Neos is shuffled from your field and or graveyard into your deck and or extra deck, you can special summon an elemental hero monster from your graveyard. Again, like as long as you have a hand that starts playing, this card will like turn after turn, like keep getting you resources, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know, it, it may be a one-off. It does list uh, Neos in the name. So like it's searchable with that above card, but We'll have to see. Um, like, yeah, this one's the most lackluster to me so far. It's just so conditional. Like, you have to have a good hand not including that card, and I never really like cards. I want hands that contribute to good hands, don't need good hands to be useful in the first place. Um, next up here, we have Fusion Exceed. Uh, this is a quick play spell. You can target, uh, you can only activate this card once per turn. Target one face up monster on the field. Target any face up monster on the field is cost. Reveal one elemental hero monster, one neo spatial monster, or one level 10 monster from your hand, deck, or extra deck. And if you use the targeted monster as fusion material this turn, you can treat its name as the revealed monsters. Also, if you have Elements of Hero Neos on your field and or in your graveyard, send the revealed monster to the graveyard. Otherwise, if it was revealed from hand, shuffle it into the deck. Hmm. Okay. So otherwise, if it was revealed from the hand. From your hand. Okay. 
So even theoretically, if you just had any of these, either an Elemental Hero Monster, Neospatian Monster, or level 10 in hand, this could just be a quick play that just says reveal those and then shuffle a monster back into the deck. And it's a quick play. So that could actually be a disruption or it could be used to kind of Elemental Hero Prisma monster, like copy a name, copy a Neos name, and then be able to use that to get into a specific fusion monster. Like that could be another way to help you get into the Shining Flare Wingman thing up there uh, by copying like a... Uh, a wingman fusion monster name interesting very interesting okay this card's weird i i'm i'm i think i'm reading it right but it, it 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 reads really weird so let me know if i'm not interpreting that right uh which takes us to our final card here this is favorite contact normal trap card it's a trap card you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists a hero monster as material does that mean it has to list a specific hero name? Or if it just says hero monster, like even if it just says a hero monster, uh, by placing, I think it just means anything, right? Uh, by placing the materials listed on it on the bottom of the deck in any order from among cards in your hand, field, graveyard, and your face-up banished cards, ignoring its summoning conditions, and if you placed element to hero ne Neos, the summoned monster cannot be returned to the extra deck pretty cool i mean it takes away potential bouncing and or shuffling removal that your opponent might be forced to resort to um as well as if you summon a neos fusion they all have the effect where they try to shuffle themselves back into the extra deck on the end phase that doesn't work here uh but i think more importantly the fact that this is a quick play really means that if we can abuse uh if we can fairly easily set up a fusion into neo swingman he's going to be a quick effect to summon this guy then he's going to be able to pop like probably your opponent's entire field and then he's just going to be a house he's going to be giant he's not going to be able to be destroyed by card effects which also means he won't people won't be able to be bounced or shuffled back into the deck so your opponent has to have like banishing sending kind of removal or they have to be able to summon something absolutely gigantic because this guy's probably going to be oh actually you're gonna have to shuffle or you're gonna have to put everything back on the uh, on the bottom of your deck just to summon this guy so maybe he won't be as huge but still removal is not going to work that well they're probably going to have to use something like battle uh the battle phase to remove him but not too shabby um i still think there's probably other decent applications this being a quick effect to get us some of the better um elemental hero fusions on the opponent's turn and i like it i believe this card lists neos in the name which means this card should be searchable also off of this guy uh which brings me back to this like i, I really hope this guy is really easy to summon i don't know off the top of my head but but if 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 it is then this card becomes extremely um kind of spicy being able to get a couple of those cards ah man okay um pretty cool stuff this kind of gives me um stardust vibes you know we got the stardust wave like last middle of last year we just got dark magician and blue eyes waves um do, do they make an elemental hero version of of the deck or a neocentric version of, of heroes like meta no but now they have some interesting plays. They have some powerful plays. Heroes already have a ton of cards that kind of just like mingle together. They now have DPE as a crazy win condition. We'll see if he sticks around. If they end up banning Verte but not DPE, then obviously Hero gets to hang on to that. And that's like a huge, huge thing for them if that's how Konami decides to ban, like take care of DPE on the next ban list. And we'll just have to see. Heroes have so many tools. These are just more tools to add to their, their overall um situation which is pretty cool um but we'll see we'll, we'll just have to see where they end up going but very very cool um obviously guys i'm not a hero expert let me know in the comment section down below if there's any weird applications or or anything you noticed that i didn't i didn't mention here definitely let me know in the comment section down below uh definitely be very curious to see where things go because this was like prime you know 12 year old john watching Yu -Gi -Oh GX. Um, loving it and especially once we got to like neos and neospatians i loved that as that's part of gx as well as a kid probably doesn't hold up as well but uh as a kid i loved it and so i do still have a special place in my heart for the neos side of the elemental hero so 
uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts there. I'll definitely be curious to hear what you have to say on that. But that's going to cover me for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, subscribe if you haven't yet and you want to stay up to date on all Yu-Gi-Oh! news that gets revealed, deck profiles, and just anything Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.